Anthropic is finally back with a new model. They've released Claude 3.7 Sonnet alongside with the Claude code, which can also help you code directly from your term terminal. However, I'm not much of a coder, so I can't really share my opinion on that. It just wouldn't be fair. What I can share my opinion on is how good this thing is for SEO and to use it to make ourselves more effective when it comes to marketing and content copywriting. So Claude Sonnet 3.7, which just got released and announced today, is their latest reasoning and smartest frontier model. Really here, they take a different philosophy from other reasoning models. You can pick when you want the model to answer normally and when you want it to think a bit longer before answering. Standard mode of 3.7 Sonnet represents an upgraded of Claude Sonnet 3.5, which was pretty impressive to begin with. And I've been trying it out. Let's try it out together to see if it's the tool for you and if you should be paying for that Anthropic subscription again after all. So what I've done here is I was testing it out before this video and I got it to code me a version of a snake game with a alien invader kind of mash up together and it did it in a matter of seconds. The game is very difficult to play. So let's see if we can code something else uh, of a similar nature for us. You can see I've got Claude Sonnet 3.7 now available. I am paying for this so you don't have to if it's not for you. And then the thinking mode is normal for most use cases and extended for math and coding challenges. Let's try the math and coding challenge. Let's try something like a another game, but a mixture of Tetris and Joule, for example. Now, the reason why this would be impressive if we can do it in the one shot while we're recording this video is because it really needs to think which features it's going to get how the whole thing is going to work as well. And you can see that it's already coding it. It actually didn't think about this too long, four seconds, which makes sense because code, because Claude 3.5 Sonnet to begin with was really good at coding. But let's see if we can test this out. And if we like our Tetris style dual matching mechanics game. Well, okay, now let's see if this is going to work. So I've got dual Tetris. It's created the Tetris falling piece that you can move and rotate it. Dual matching mechanics where three plus of the same color dual in a row clears the column. Okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, that there. Oh, but the three <laughs> mechanics. Yeah, okay, but it does work, kind of, yeah. So I need to... match three here and when i match three they should disappear yeah so that kind of works except it should be four or more maybe otherwise this would be a little bit too easy but cool it kind of works right away let's see if we can change it um let's see um that is a little too easy L make sure that we need to make four same colors matching I'm going to leave it open-ended. I just said that's a bit too easy. Can we make it so we need to match four or five to see what it recommends and what it prefers? But already the layout was really cool and it seemed to be working fine, which is phenomenal. All right, let's see. Now they need to go four or more and see if this is going to work. We'll put this one in the end. I can't believe I'm just playing a game that I created in a matter of seconds. And now this is four. Boom. Yeah, that works fine. That's really cool. Uh, and it looks good as well. So that's a fairly silly example. We can't really use that too much, but let's do one that we can use. For example, let's say I wanted to create a quick pop-up for this website, right? I'm gonna take a screenshot and because Claude can actually uh, view images now, we're gonna start a brand new chat and we're going to throw in the screenshot of that website that I just took up. And you can see that you can capture the screenshot, but it can read the photo already. So I'm going to say, create me a pop-up in the style of the website in the screenshot. The pop-up uh, should entice the user to place in the contact information in return for a checklist PDF for SEO. So create me a pop-up in the style of the website in this screenshot. Uh, the pop-up must entice users to place their email and uh, their name to receive their latest SEO strategies in for 2025 uh, checklist. That's kind of all over the place, but I want to see if we can just kind of figure out what I want. Now, just for reference, the website is this. So you see some white, some blues, and even some little greens here from ChatGPT. I want to see how close it gets to that in terms of design. Okay, so that's not too bad. Ah, 2025 SEO strategies checklist, stay ahead of the competition with our insights, name, let's try this out. Uh, email, we're going to place in info at Savity and if we go get free checklist, cool. Now we, it has a little animation, everything. Wow, that's pretty good. 
So obviously I then need to decide what I do with this, but this isn't too bad at all. It's used, well, it's used the trusted by over 3,400 members, which is was the only thing that was mentioned in here. So that's really good. In my opinion, this little green thing doesn't make sense, but whatever, that's trying to style it. Wow. And I can look at the code here and change it as I want to. That is pretty good already. The next thing we obviously do in this channel is content copywriting for SEO and how to maximize these kind of tools. So for the most part, Claude has been preferred for from blog writers to SEO professionals because of the way that it writes so well. So I'm going to do a concise writing style and because it doesn't have because it doesn't have access to the internet you can't say go research this topic and write me a blog post but what you can do with another free good tool which is perplexity deep research is for example i did a little bit of digging already and i asked it to find me all the latest information on research for claude sonnet 3.7 and how it compares to other reasoning models and it gave me a pretty good detailed research understanding i'm going to export this as a Markdown or a PDF, it doesn't really matter. Claude can do both. I'm going to then go back to my Claude Sonnet 3.5. I'm going to give it the research in Markdown. And I'm going to ask it to please write a 2000 word blog post in a conversational format. Make sure to add a lot of value, but I want to do a blog post about Claude Sonnet 3.7 and how it compares to its competitors. Try to add as much value there. Ensure that you reference the URLs that you found given in the markdown research and include them as hyperlinks to the contextual keyword throughout the blog post. A little bit tricky. Some models have struggled with that, but usually the smarter models can do this okay. Hopefully, Claude Sonnet 3.7 can do that for us. Okay, so take the following information provided in the markdown file and use it to write a detailed 2000 word blog post about Claude Sonnet 3.7 and how it compares to the main flagship models. Ensure you add a table somewhere to add some variety to the content. You must include the cited sources from the markdown as hyperlinks throughout the blog post. Uh, they must be linked to the keyword naturally throughout the blog. Let's see if it does that. I'm going to force it to deep think or to sorry, to extend think. And then I'm still going to make sure that it writes in concise because I kind of like that. And I'm going to hit enter. So we're going to see how well it does in content copywriting. And to be honest, there's no uh, way to really test this if it's going to rank higher than other, uh, than other components, than other AI models. Sorry. It's just, do you like the way that it writes? Because unless I publish two exact blog posts on the exact topic written from two models, I can't really tell you which one is going to rank better uh, so I can just tell you what I think the content looks like and if you should use it and right away um, it thought for about I don't know a couple of seconds and started writing this let's write uh, let's read a couple of these sentences and then see if it's actually backlinking to the correct components which it seems like it is so it might be a tool that you can use again for your content copywriting the evolution of AI reasoning Claude 3.7 sonnet arrives not bad a significant leap forward for artificial intelligence, Anthropic in a significant leap forward for artificial intelligence, Anthropic has unveiled Claude 3.7 Sonnet, a groundbreaking model that represents the first hybrid reasoning system. That's not bad. Uh, so it's got the title, the H1s there. Wow. Um, and it's grabbing the correct sources. So it says here, Claude Sonnet 3.7 is... Clause 3.7 is some of the most distinctive feature is its hybrid reasoning approach. And if I click that, I'm going to go to another link and it's the correct one. So it's backlinking appropriately to the context that we gave it from uh, Deep Think from Perplexity, which is pretty cool. That's doing half of the job for you. Incredible. Really good. Yeah, and it's, it's doing that throughout the whole blog post. It even gave me a table here. Really cool. Wow. Let's see what the word count is because we asked it for around 2,000 words. And ideally, it gets between at least 10% of that. So it did... 1,481, which is not too bad, a lot less, but we did click the concise button and maybe it didn't think that it needs to write 2,000 words, which it doesn't need to if it explains things correctly enough. It's better. 
but this is great. I really like it. I think one cool thing that you can do now is another cool thing that you could do is somehow add an interactive HTML element to the blog post so that people stay around the blog post a little bit more, uh, increasing the positive signals that you're giving to Google because people are sticking around to your blog post there. So let's see if it'll do that for us uh, in a sense that doesn't allow in a sense that doesn't allow for too much coding. So it needs to be in HTML. So this is going to be interesting because I'm leaving a lot of room here. So I'm saying, please generate an interactive HTML element that will add value to the blog post. It should somehow get the point across of the blog post, but it should be, I should be able to click sections of the element and things should happen. I'll let it realize what that is. Uh, it should all be in HTML and it looks good as well. <laughs> looks good as something that, that it's going to have to determine what that is. But I want to see if it kind of gets what I'm trying to do here. Check this out, Claude 3.7 hybrid reasoning. Explore how Claude 3.7 combines fast responses with deep think. Immediate response. Wow. That is cool. Oh, <laughs> compare with other models. No way. That is so cool. And the source is even there. Wow. That's cool. I don't care what anyone says. Look at the SVG files that it got. That is incredible. And I can compare with other models, self-reflection, GPT. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty impressed. It, it That's cool. I would play with this on the blog post and I would be here for a little while sending positive signals to Google. Um, I am pretty happy with that. That's unreal. I know that... O3 uh, mini probably won't be this good at that. Look at the, oh man, look at the little effects that it adds. It's so smooth. Oh my goodness. That was cool. Uh, cool. Okay. I, I'm impressed to be honest. I can start a new chat, chat controls. That was unreal. So I've got a blog post and then I can add this into my blog content. I'm going to try and leave this blog post up in my website with a link below so that you can take a look at it. Hopefully I can put the interactive HTML element there as well. So you can play around with that as well. Overall, I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be testing this a lot more and I'm going to make sure that I can show you examples of how to use Claude Sonnet 3.7 for you to maximize your SEO just like we did. But is this good? Yeah, amazing. I like it. Particularly if you're a fan of Claude before, you're going to be a fan of this. Remember, you need the you can try it out for free, although there'll be some limits to the uh, conversation for Claude Sonnet 3.7 in the free version but with the paid you can do the extended version i still haven't run out run out although i haven't used it that much cool if you like this type of video make sure you subscribe and like this video for more to stay updated in all things ai seo and how to use these tools to maximize your marketing and make sure you're ranking number one on google very cool i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching cheers